Greetings. Now we'll move on to banks and personnel. Loans, stock trading, buying up competitors, personnel management, and sabotage. We'll start right away once you've opened the company dialogue. Here you can see some data about your company on the left and on the right side the current company value and how it's calculated. The results of the last four quarters are displayed here. The last quarter is on the left. Here you can see which companies are currently competing in the transportation business and how much these companies are worth. Each company, including yours, is a public stock company that received its initial funds from shareholders. Therefore, you can buy your competitor's shares as well. Once you have acquired all the shares of a competitor, you can merge with them and the competitor disappears. But be careful. If a competitor gains value faster than you, they will also try to buy up the shares of your company and kick you out of the race. Buy some competitor's shares now. There is quite a bit more information about mergers, but you can take a look at that at your leisure by opening the tips and tricks section. Here you will find more information about each topic. If you open the tips from a dialog, you jump directly to the right place. Here you can buy shares of different markets and issue company bonds to take out a loan. The higher your company value, the higher the bond's value. Now buy some stock and issue a bond. In the last section, you can see all kinds of statistics and company developments. Look around a bit, then close the dialogue to continue. Now let's take a look at the personnel. Open the corresponding dialogue. In this dialogue, you can change basic settings for the four different personal areas of your company. The first area is for the engineer. Your trains are on the move 24 hours a day. With a daily work time of 8 hours, each train needs 3 engineers. If you increase the work time, for example, you will need fewer engineers. But the quality of the work will decrease. How many of the available positions can actually be filled depends on how much you invest in your employees. How well each individual works and how many positions are filled ultimately determines the efficiency of an area. Efficient engineers, for example, reduce the maintenance requirements of your locomotive. Now take a look at the three other personnel areas. They all work similarly, but each has different effects. One special feature is your security personnel. 
Not only do they affect mail and freight revenues, but they can also prevent sabotage when effectively used. As always, you can find more information about personnel in the Tips and Tricks dialogue. But now, let's turn to the last area, the saboteurs. You can invest money into searching for saboteurs to damage your competitor's business. The more money you invest, the faster you'll find more experienced saboteurs. Start the search for a saboteur now. Go ahead and invest the highest amount. Normally you would have to wait for a while now, but I'll take the liberty to speed up the search. As soon as you have found a saboteur, you can use them. Now close the dialog and select something that belongs to your competitor north of Reading. For example, a station. Then order the sabotage. All I see with you are breakdowns. It's going to be an uneven battle. That's how it's done. Whether you want to sabotage your competitors or not, of course, is your decision. It's not important, but you should expect that your competitors will not be squeamish with you. So make sure you have enough security personnel. That also brings this lesson to an end. One more thing. As long as your business is small, you don't necessarily need to worry about your staff. At some point, however, you'll have 50 or more employees in one area, and you'll incur significant costs. By then, you should optimize your staff. 